Welcome, today we're gonna to talk about Warp for window management because it does more than other tools like Mosaic does or Moom. It uh, allows you to set up window sets and then open them up, uh, which is super useful to me. Previously, I used a MacBook Air kind of off to my side over here, uh, and then I had my main screen in the front. Now I actually use two 27 inch monitors and the transition has really meant that I use both of them. Whereas in my MacBook Air previously was simply just kind of an extra reference screen. It wasn't really used for a ton because it was honestly felt really tiny on the desk. Let's look at Warp and what it can do. So we can get Warp here at warpmac.com. And if we click through, we can say get, and you can see it is a 499 app, quite inexpensive uh, and very, very useful. So what do I use it for? There are a few things I use it for. Uh, I use it uh, for setting up uh, DevonThink and Obsidian. You can see it's opening up DevonThink and positioning it on my second screen here. Uh, I also use it for switching to, say, my RSS research screen. Again, it opened a read kit, put it on my secondary screen, and has Obsidian on this screen. And that's really what this does. It lets me set up configurations of windows so that I can um, use them easily. And I've tied them into uh, keyboard commands and my stream deck so that I can just type, you know, one button on the stream deck and have them. So let's set one up. Let's actually set up my coding workflow. So my coding workflow would generally be, and this is how we do it. We just open up Chrome. I would open up Slack. There you go. Slack is now open. I would open up VS Code. And I would open up Dash. And I would normally have Dash on this screen so that I can reference my the code documentation over here and I can reference the code over there. And then finally, I would open up Local. This is my server application to actually run the service for web development on my uh, computer here. And so now that this is all set up, what I have to do is just open up Warp and I can hit Create Preset. I'm going to save my configuration. It's been successfully saved and now it's opened them. And so now I can say Coding and my strategy is hide. So this is where we have our other options. I can set an icon for it if I wanted. Uh, I don't really care because I'm just really never going to access it via the menu. Uh, I'm going to uncheck, uh, ignore, obstructed. How do we restore them? So this is something I don't know. How do we restore? Okay, three obstructed windows to be restored. So I assume that it's just going to restore them in the background. That's fine. Uh, and to play, display the preset and menu bar. So that means when I come up here, you can see I now have coding in the menu bar. Originally, I just had um, DT Research and RSS. And then the strategy for hiding my other windows, dealing with them, is just to hide them. So you can do none, kill, or force kill. I usually just do hide uh, because like, I want uh, Obsidian open. I want other things open kind of all the time, uh, even though they may not necessarily be my primary focus currently. Now, finally, I'm going to come in here and I'm going to type a long keyboard command. C. Um, so that's Shift Option Command uh, Control C. And then I will open up my Stream Deck. That's here. And I can come in here and I can type in, put in my hotkey. And I'll do the same thing Shift Option Control Command C. And I will find an icon from the Stream Deck library. And this is coding. So I'll just find something for code. Code. Sure, no, I not that one. Oh no, that's a better code. Done. And so now I can also change the title to code. So what this means now is if we kill everything, right, I can kill Chrome and I can kill all of my applications. So now I just have Obsidian open and I just a couple of finder windows hidden behind. That's it. And if I press the code button, I now have everything opening up for me. Local will take the longest because it's kind of the slowest one. And I wanted local up front because I will have to start a server uh, when I get going. Okay, so now we've reset the windows and there's one thing that this doesn't do great. If I open up Finder, 
And then something I generally do is I end up with some configuration like that. So four finder windows open on my, I guess kind of what I consider my secondary screen. And so if I go to warp now and create preset and save configuration, saved, we'll call it finder. I'm not gonna sign a keyboard command because this is where it doesn't work. So we'll just open up these items and kill them all and play with their little play icon to test it. And so what it's gonna do is you see, it just kind of moves my finder window around. It doesn't actually create new finder windows for me. So this is not something that I can actually use it for, unfortunately. So I'm gonna delete that one since it doesn't work. Now I'm sure some of you are also saying, hey, how about Keyboard Maestro? And the truth is I've tried Keyboard Maestro. I've had this application for a long time. And every time I get in there, I spend like 20 minutes trying to figure out how to make it work. And what ends up happening is it's not working what I, what the way I want. And I feel frustrated and I quit and I stop using it. So ultimately Keyboard Maestro can do this. I actually know it can totally do this, but it is a pain in the butt to use. It is so much more complex, so much harder to use than Warp that I just don't do it because I can't be bothered too much work. So Warp makes this really easy. I can just save configurations easy. I can tie them to keyboard commands easily in my stream deck, and I can just fire them off and have my configuration set up for me with very little issue. Warp gets two thumbs up, $4.99, excellent app, excellent value, saves me a ton in terms of productivity. Like it a lot. If you like this video, thumbs up below. If you love to subscribe, hit the bell. YouTube will let you know something happened. Otherwise, you can take a course, curtismichael.ca slash education. Become a member. Members get courses. Uh, curtismichael.ca slash membership. Uh, that's it. Have an excellent day.